Hi guys, I wanted to share with you a little trick I've been working on. It looks really cool. It's like a neon effect and it's really simple to do and it looks actually pretty cool. So I have this example already set up and I'm going to go step by step and make a, actually make a new one. So I'm going to hide this one. I'm going to use this rectangle. It just has have as a background and we're going to make a new layer. This is going to be a vector layer. We're just going to draw something on it just to have a reference. It's actually a bit too much. I'll just reduce it in size about there. Now we're going to select the layer actually, not the curve, the layer, because we want to apply the effect to the whole layer. So everything we draw inside this layer will have the effect already applied to it. So we go to effects and we go to our glow, we select it. And then just pick a color, maybe like a green, all the way up in saturation, maybe like a 50% for luminance. And we pop up the radius like so. I usually bring up the intensity all the way up. It just looks a little bit more neon, um, like less fussy edges, like the less intense. You see, it looks a little fussy. Bring up the intensity. You know, that's obviously way too much. Just a little bit less, maybe. Like so. We want some fussiness in there. Well, that looks pretty cool already. Now, for the extra punch, again, we make sure we're in the layer, not the curve. And we go into, let's say, outer shadow. And it might be a little confusing so now, but just bear with me. And the first thing we're going to do is change the blend mode from multiply. And let's just try normal for now. We're going to select a color. We're going to do the same thing. We actually can just select this very same one. Um, call it a day. I'm going to do a radius. A little bit more. And we're going to do a little bit more intensity. Let's, let's turn off the outer glow just to see how this is working out. I don't see it right now. I don't know why. Um, is it working? There it is. The radius is way too off. <laughs> uh, we'll bump, bump up the intensity. And you might be wondering why we're doing two of the same thing. You know, the outer glow and the... <laughs> outer shadow looks kind of the same but this is just to give it a more of a glow to the neon strip so let's gonna make it a little bit less intense and maybe a little bit more radius like so and we're going to now do this as you can see you can tell the difference now right away maybe this needs to be a little bit more intense maybe a little bit less radius like that that gives us like a glowy effect and now we can play around and mess with um, the size, whatever you want. But now the cool thing is, if we draw inside this layer, because it already has the effects on it, once we draw on it, we get those effects already applied to them, which is pretty cool. So we can even delete this curve and let's try something else. Let's try a shape. Let's try a star. As you can see the star. I'm just it's gonna look quite cool. And you'll be wondering why it only glows on the outside. And that's probably because it has a fill inside. So we're just gonna get rid of that. And voila. It's kinda cool. And whatever modifier you apply to this shape, you know, you stretch it, make it smaller, bigger, whatever it's going to retain those effects. And that's kind of like the gist of it. So let's try something else. Let's try something. Uh, let's try maybe a call out. Let's do something cool. Ta-da. Now if we try some text, as you guessed it, I don't know, it looks huge. Um, let's try something smaller. Uh, let's do open. Let's make it bigger. Maybe change the font to a narrow. Do we have a narrow? Um, ultralight. Yep. 
Let's change this to white. Maybe that's a little too, too light. That's much. Mm. Oh, let's go with ultra light. That's cool. So let me make it bigger. You can see the same effect applies for text still. So I have to mess around with the thickness. What I would probably do is actually convert this text to curves and then change the thickness of that line to whatever it needs to be so it matches this. And maybe for an extra cool factor, we can add a background. I just get him from on Splash. Oh, it's Pixbay, apparently. And let's do brick. Go to search and let's see. This looks kind of cool, kind of grungy in a way. It's way too big, so make it smaller. It's gonna kind of make needs to fit the scale to make it look believable. I'm just gonna punch it right down here. And I want to change this layer blend mode into something else maybe like multiply bring down the opacity just to make it look like it's dark and you know it's not going to be perfect but you get the idea and that's basically how you do a neon effect